have to create a connection with your database. Here I have a connection with the database and I'm connected as the user HR through this connection. To see the list of synonyms available, you would expand synonyms on this machine. I do not have any synonyms already existing. So I will create the first synonym by right clicking on the word synonyms and choosing the option new synonym. The new synonym dialog window will be displayed. Here I can mention the name of the synonym. I'll call my synonym C and this synonym will reference the customer table that is owned by the user HR. To complete its creation, I will select the Apply button followed by the OK button in the confirmation window. The synonym that I have just created is now available on the navigation tree and by selecting the name of the synonym, you will be able to see the details of the synonym. A synonym is very often used in place of a table name. I have now returned to the SQL worksheet window where I will be able to write a query that is based on the customer table. To show you how a synonym works, what I will first do is write a, a simple select statement that will retrieve all the data from the customer table. On executing this statement, you will see the query result at the bottom half of the window. It has one row, there is only one row in the customer table. I will clear this particular statement, close the query result and write a similar statement but this time instead of writing the word customer I will reference its alias or its synonym called C. Executing the statement once again I would get the query result the bottom half of my window and you will see that the output is exactly the same as the previous uh, SQL statement. In this video tutorial, I showed you how to create a synonym using SQL Developer. For more videos, tutorials and 